Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Today I'm so excited to show you the all new 2018 Integra Anthem. They've added a lot of new features to the Anthem this year that I think you're going to be really excited about. First of all, Integra only uses the best products. They use Sickens paint and three coats of clear on the Anthem. They also use a 3M protective shield across the whole front cap. One of the things I love about Integra is the Integra name, boldly written and backlit along with the sea lighting, or other, lots of people like to call that the show-off lighting. One of the games that my kids and I love to play when we're on, the, on a road trip is we'll try to see who can name the manufacturer of the RV that's coming towards us first. I'm always the winner if it's Integra because it's just bam, right there. The Anthem sits on the Spartan K2 chassis and it comes standard with independent front suspension. So Spartan was the very first company to put independent front suspension in a motorhome chassis. Now that's a big deal because with a straight axle when you go over a bump the whole coach bumps goes to the side. With independent front suspension just the one tire absorbs the shock of the bump. Here we have the chrome internally controlled and heated mirrors. We also have our marker lighters and this is our first blind spot monitoring uh, sensor and we have our side view digital camera again in 2018 they moved the side view camera down lower it used to be in the uh, side view mirror this way at night you can see down the full length of your coach from inside the coach on your camera screen so if someone's trying to get into your storage base you have a great shot of that all right there's three ways to gain access to your coach obviously you have the key itself then you've got your keypad here, and you can put in your own unique code so you can give access to the coach to your friends, your family, a repairman while you're away. Also, when you touch this keypad, it lights this handlebar, so that's really nice. You can't see it, it's a little light right now. And then we have the key fob, so we can lock our coach or unlock the coach and we can unlock the cargo area as well. This is a huge feature so you don't have to go around and individually lock every baggage door. The Anthem comes standard with the dual pane tinted windows throughout the coach. You also see that we have LED lighting on our entry door awning. That's Gerard. And then we have the two Gerard awnings that run the length of the coach. They have LED lighting on them as well. Right here we have our first of two docking lights on the side of the coach. Docking lights are very important. They help you see when you're back into a campground at night. You never know when a, a picnic table or rock is gonna jump out and grab your coach. Here we have the 315 Michelin tires. 315 on the front, 295 on the rear. Notice the flush mounted side out uh, walls. This is important. This is another factor that leads to the quietest riding, best handling coach on the market today, period. There's no lip on this slide out wall. So you're not gonna have that wind noise coming. Another thing that's important, customers ask me all the time, you know, do you put your slides out first? Do you level first? So on Integra product, you put your slides out first, jacks down. When you go to leave the camp campground, you do the same in reverse. Jacks up, slide outs in. Here we have our dual fuel, fuel fill. So this is a 150 gallon fuel tank. And this year they added the fuel cap tether. I know that doesn't seem like a big deal, but everyone was asking for this. So I guess a lot of us have left our caps at the gas station. It happened to me before. One of the new features they added on the 2018 Anthem is the stainless steel trim of, along the full length of the coach. 
another item that just makes it a little bit more like the cornerstone. So here behind our first storage tray or storage area, we had this huge area. Note that this is carpeted, it's insulated, and it's heated as well. Thermostat controlled by the Vega Touch inside the coach. Now we also have our remote control here for our awning. So let's set the stage for our tailgate. We're gonna go to double zero and hit out. And both of our dual pitch Gerard awnings will extend. Next, we have our pass-through tray. So we're gonna be able to access this from either side of the coach. Simply lift that lever there and super easy to get all of your uh, cargo loaded and unloaded. This is a little lever for your awnings. So simply hook up the awning here when you don't have your big Gerard ones out and you want to have a little extra shade, hook that there. And you've got extra shade for inside the coach. Next, we have another huge storage area. You can see that we've got our extra dinette chairs, our folding chairs there. And also note the X bracing that runs vertically and horizontally through this coach. It keeps the chassis rails rigid so that there's no twisting and the suspension does all the work. You can also see right down here is the heater vent. That's where the heat comes out to heat this basement area. And we have the Dirt Devil central vac so that we can vacuum out our basement as well. Another great feature in the Anthem is the fact that you can Hold on here, folks. Cut off all the uh, supply to the house. So when you're, again, you're storing, you're gonna wanna cut off. This is the manual cutoff switch for your inside of the house. And then you've got, these are your manual overrides for the slides. So you can literally use a pin here to extend and retract your different slide rooms. So if something's not working inside, this is your bypass. Now that we've got our awning out, we're ready for a party, let's get out our TV. So we have the beautiful Samsung TV with the Samsung sound bar. Also the TV, you can get it out and move it to whatever angle and it tilts as well. So you can get that glare off it. We also have our last big storage area on this side. This is where all of our battery disconnects are. So if you're, if we're not fortunate enough to have you as one of our storage customers at our two facilities where we store over 300 coaches indoors and they're always plugged in, you're gonna wanna store your coach and we're, you're gonna wanna cut off all power to your uh, coach. You can do that here. And behind here, we have our fresh water tank. So this is nice. They've given us a little window so we can see the level. Also, you're gonna fill your fresh water tank pressurized through city water on the other side of the coach, but this is our gravity fill here. So this is nice for a couple reasons. Uh, every once in a while, our guests will want to clean out their fresh water tank, so they may wanna put a little bleach in there to, to clean it out. So the only way you can, or the one, one of the ways you can do that is through here. The other thing is if you're dry camping and you want to fill the water tank yourself, you would do that here as well. Now this space doesn't look like you have, you've got a little storage space here. I've also seen, seen some of my guests take Velcro and they've, um, they put some of their hoses along here and they can secure items here as well. So using all the space that you can. Here we have our second docking light, another marker light our second blind spot monitoring sensor, and our third blind spot monitoring si sensor. Behind the little door here is our DEF tank. It's a 15 gallon dual fill, so you can do this on, fill it on the driver's side or the passenger side. 
Something a lot of you may not know about DEF, but it expires. So these engines are getting more and more advanced and computerized. A lot of the um, check engine codes that we get are for your DEF. So if you are one of these people that like to carry your DEF with you, buy it at Walmart, store it in the coach, make sure when you're buying it that you check the expiration date. And if you're a full timer and you just go to one park, stay there for six months and then leave and go to another park, you're not gonna, you may not wanna fill your DEF tank because you're probably not gonna run through it in that year's time. And old DEF will cause you to get a check engine code. All right, our last door on the passenger side, it's a biggie. Obviously we can access our DEF here again and our chassis batteries. We also have our air dryer. This does have a filter and this does need to be serviced. We also have a little muffler here off the air dryer. So we've all been in the back of our coach hooking up our car or taking off our tow vehicle and we hear that pssst, but it's a lot louder than that. We about jump out of our shoes. They put a muffler on that so it won't scare us. Here behind this black box, we have the power distribution center for the back half of the chassis. So here's basically your fuse box. If you have a bad tail light, you'll check here. If you have a bad marker light, you'll check here. Also, you have your battery disconnect buttons here. And my favorite button, you just push this right here, voila, and it opens your engine compartment. No more wrestling with the back engine compartment. What's the most important thing when you're building a house? It's the foundation. Well, the same goes for a motorhome. So the Anthem sits on the Spartan K2 chassis. And in my opinion, the Spartan chassis is the best motorhome chassis. Spartan's been building chassis for over 30 years. And since the first one they put in in 1986, they've been custom building and specializing chassis for motorhomes, which is unique to the industry. The Anthem comes with the Cummins ISL turbocharged 450 horsepower engine with 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. It has the Allison 3000 series six-speed transmission. You also see that the engine compartment is insulated. This is a big deal because it keeps your motorhome warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer. And what's right beyond the engine? It's either your master bedroom or your master bathroom. We also have the engine heater block here. So if it, on those cold winter mornings, you can simply come back here and plug it in. If you're having to use this, you need to go further south where it's warmer. You've got a house with wheels on it. The Anthem has a 15,000 pound towing hitch. So that, what does that mean to you? It means you can take your 5,200 pound Jeep Grand Cherokee or your 7,500 pound Chevy Suburban or a 28 foot stacker trailer, triple axle and put them all together and you're still not gonna fill it behind your coach. Before we leave the back end of the coach, I want you to take a look at this beautiful end cap. The sea lighting on the sides and the Integra across the uh, back of the coach, backlit. I just love that it's so bold and beautiful. Also, we have the new rear digital camera. Here we are at the side radiator. This is another first for Spartan. Spartan was the first to put the side radiator in a motorhome chassis. So there's three big disadvantages to a rear radiator. One, you're taking the heat coming off the engine to cool the radiator. That heat can be up to like 150 degrees. Then you have all the dirt and debris, oil, coming from the engine that's going into the radiator. And thirdly, it's the serviceability. So it's much harder to service the engine with the radiator. You've got to take the radiator out to get to the engine. So there's three advantages to the side radiator. First being you're bringing in cool, cooler and cleaner air. You're bringing in the air, the ambient air is gonna flow into the radiator. Then you can see these fins here. They were specifically designed to pull in the cool, cleaner air. It takes 35 horsepower to run the radiator fan. So with the cool, cleaner air, your radiator fan doesn't have to work as often or as, as hard. So 
Think about that, that's significant. 35 horsepower on a 450 coach. You wanna save as much of that as you can. Another new feature for 2018, go figure. Integra decided to lock and secure the deaf tank instead of the stinky slinky door. And they were so serious about locking and securing that, it's even, they even made it galvanized steel. Here's another one of our blind spot monitoring sensors and another one, our marker lights and docking lights. And behind this little door, we have our stinky slinky. Not secured, but we have reinforced the hose. That was a big problem the last year, so they put a nice reinforced hose on the stinky slinky. Here we are to our wet bay. So you can see that it's lit. We have the light on. We have our sea tank, uh, sea level two tank monitoring system, our sewage holding tank valve and our wastewater holding tank valve, macerator. This is our fresh water fill. So when it's um, up, we're hooked up to city water. When we're horizontal, we are filling the, the tank. Uh, our fresh water connection. This is our sewage flush and we have our release and retract button for our water hose. This is where our filter will go for the drinking water of the coach once National Indoor RV Centers has done its PDI. Then we have a spot for our paper towels and our soap or our plastic gloves. And behind the door here, We have our macerator, which is our garbage disposal for our black tank. And we have our manual, manual bypass with the gravity dump as well. Then we have our water filter for the rest of the coach. And this is our tool to change that water filter. And then we have the nice pressurized uh, shower hose with hot and cold water so we can wash off our furry friends, our feet from the sand at the beach, or whatever we need to. Here we have our Aqua Hot 450 diesel. This is for our on-demand hot water throughout the coach, and it also acts as our furnace once we drop below 40 degrees. We also have our SureGuard power, our transfer switch with surge suppression. And we have our 50 foot 50 amp shore power cord and that is on auto reel as well, which we all love. <laughs> also, we get asked a lot, what is this exhaust for? This is from the diesel aqua hot. Here we have our huge storage compartment. You can see again, our folding chairs and the attachments for our central vac. And here's our pass-through tray. So again, we just simply pull the lever. Makes it so easy for loading and unloading our goods. And we have another huge compartment for storage because our batteries again have been moved to the center of the coach. And we have an extra little spot for another stinky slinky. Our fuel fill from the driver's side of the coach, again, it's tethered as well, so we're not gonna lose that cap. And docking lights again for the driver's side. Here we are at our other control panel with the resettable breakers. And then just like I showed you in the back of the coach with the power distribution center for the back half of the chassis, behind this panel is the power distribution for the front half of the chassis. So if you have a headlight that goes out or a marker light that goes out, you're gonna change the fuse right here in this box. Now, we also have our battery cables here. So if you need to jump your coach, you can do that from the rear of the coach or from the front of the coach. As long as we have the key turned on and air in the suspension, we should be able to extend the generator. Here we have the 12.5 Onan generator. 
So this is going to give you plenty of power to run your three ACs, your microwave, your induction cooktop while you're going down the road without fear of tripping a breaker. If you did trip a breaker, you would have to stop the coach, pull over and flip this switch right here. When we go inside, I'm gonna give you a riveting discussion on electricity. I know you probably can't wait. But until then, I wanted to just give you a little piece of trivia. So when you're plugged into 50 amp service, you've got 50 amps of power going in on each leg. So 100 amps of power going into the coach. When you are running your generator, you have 52.1 amps of power going in on each leg. So really, you have 104.2 amps of power going into the coach. So when you're running the generator, uh, you have more power than you do when you're plugged into shore power. That's why you can run all those functions and not have any worries. Let's go inside and check out the anthem. First of all, I want you to notice the great little drawer that we have right as we enter the coach. So you can put your dirty shoes in there, pet leashes, keys might be a place that I might not lose them. <laughs> then you'll notice that the step well is nicely lit. And as you walk right in here, there's a panel to the side. We've got our main power disconnect right here. So that's great. Coming or going, you can turn on the power to the coach or turn it off as you leave. We've got our step power switch. So once we're camping, we want to press that so that the step stays out. We don't want it coming in and out every time we go in and out of the coach once we're, we're camping. And then this is our step light. Now we have one of our master panels here. So we have master lights on and off. This is great. You don't have to fumble around in the dark. So simply hit that on when you walk in or hit it off when you're ready to leave. You also have the control for your master day and night shades. So you can easily put those up or down. You have your awnings for your driver side and passenger side, your power entry awning, light for your cargo slide out, porch light, ceiling entry light, and then your security light. So you can turn that on so that it's motion or that you can just have it turned on so it's on all the time. Here I am in the comfy co-captain chair. So this is made by Flexsteel. We have the hand controls there on our armrest so we can make those very comfortable for us. And we have the footrest, which makes the riding experience really nice. Now you just have to stay awake. And we have the six-way contro power controlled seat. So it goes up and down, forward, backwards, and then front lift and rear lift. So you can really make this uh, chair totally customized for you. Over to my right hand side here, we have the two USB, I mean the two 110 outlets and the two USB outlets. We have the fly, slide extend so that we don't fall into the stairwell. And we have our front day shade control for the passenger, which is right here in front of me. And for the door window to my right. All right, we're gonna cover this left-hand panel. First, I wanna talk about one of the huge additions for 2018 they added the Hadley air leveling system to the anthems. This used to only come standard on Cornerstone, now it's standard on the anthem. So I wanna go ahead and level the coach. So I'm gonna turn on the engine. And now I wanna see if we can find a solid surface. So to level, searching for a solid surface. The green lights means that we will most likely be able to find, a, we will be able to level on this surface. If these were blinking yellow, we would probably be able to level. If they are blinking orange or red, we definitely won't be able to level. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit set.
Once I have solid green, front to back of coach and side to the side of coach and a solid green light here, it means we're level. Now you probably only want to use the Hadley Air to level your coach if you're just staying for one night or less. So if you're spending the night in the Walmart campground or if you're just at a location for one day, then you'd probably use the Hadley Air. If you're going to stay for longer than that, you'll probably want to use your hydraulic leveling jacks. Or you'd use the Hadley Air if you were in a location where you felt like your jacks might sink into the ground. All right, it looks like we're there. We have solid light front to back and side to side, and we are set. So now I want to turn the engine off. That will lock the valves and keep the air and we'll it, where it's supposed to be, and we will be level. Okay, now it's morning time. We're in the Walmart parking lot, and we want to get ready to leave. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my engine. We have a beep that's telling us that we're not at ride height with the little indicator here. So I'm going to go ahead and start my engine. And I'm going to push standard ride height. Now I know why that beep's going off. I know it's because I'm not at ride height. If I wanted to get rid of that beep, I could hit this arrow right here. I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit standard ride height. Now we're at standard ride height and we're ready to take off. Now we're driving down the road. I need to fill up with fuel. So I want to pull in the gas station and it looks like I may scrub the front of my coach or the back of the coach. So I want to raise the entire coach. So I'm going to go over to my Hadley air leveling system and hit raise. And you want to give that a couple minutes to raise the coach because it's got to fill up with air. It's not going to be instant. Now, since I hit the raise button, I'm getting this warning that I'm not at ride height. I know why I've got the warning. I don't want to sit and listen to this, that beeping. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit this arrow right here. Turn off the beeping while the coach raises. All right, now we're home. Unfortunately, we're not lucky enough to have you as one of our customers at National Indoor RV Centers. So you're going to store your coach in your own garage, but you've got a tight fit. The Anthem is 12 feet, 8 inches, and you want to make sure you don't scrape the top of your coach. So you're going to want to lower your, your coach. Now you can lower it about 4 inches, you can raise it about 3 inches. So we've got a 7 inch swing with the coach. So that's a big deal. So to lower, I'm just going to go ahead and hit the lower button. This is going to happen more instantly. We can hear the air releasing. What you really want to be careful about when you're lowering your coach is that you've got your wheels straight. So this will keep you from uh, showing up at National Indoor for some body work. So make sure your tires are straight. All right, here we have our air horn button. If we don't have this on, we have kind of a little bit of a wussy sounding horn. If we want to make sure they know, or the car in front of us knows we're behind them, we're going to turn that air horn on. Big difference in the horn. We also have our pet safety switch. So th this is the power disconnect to the house. This is also so that your kids don't actually hit, hit the button as well, but you have to slide that over to turn the coach on or off. We have our docking lights, our left, rear, and right docking lights. Okay, the ATC stands for Automatic Traction Control. So this is usually always on, it's in like an auto position. You would want to turn this off if you were stuck in the mud and you needed to get some extra traction, you wanted your tires to spin a little bit more, you'd hit that. If you were stuck in mud, you also would probably want to dump your uh, tag so that you'd put more weight on your drive axle. You want to make sure the other time that you would dump your tag is if you're making a really tight turn. You would want to do that so you wouldn't scrub your uh, tires and then you end up having to get new tires because you'd have a very bumpy ride. Here we have the pedal slide retract and extend. So I can push this and adjust 
my petal. This is really nice for some of those uh, vertically challenged customers of ours. And we have our map lights. Again, our tag dump. Here we have the battery boost button. This is a really important button. Might be your favorite. <laughs> if you happen to leave your coach, left some lights on, you come back to your coach and it's totally dead. So you're gonna push the battery boost but button to combine your house batteries with your chassis batteries. Once you get enough of a charge, you can turn your generator on. Once your generator's running, you have 110 volts running to your inverters. Once you get your inverters running, you push your battery boost again, and your inverters will be putting out 100 plus amps, each of them. So you'll have 200 plus amps now running and you need a hundred amps, I mean, sorry, excuse me, a thousand amps to start your engine. So it won't take you very long with 200 plus amps coming from your inverters to start your engine. Here's our auxiliary brake. On the Anthem, you have the 450 horsepower engine. So when you have this auxiliary brake on high, when you go to stop, you have 280 horses pulling you back to stop you. We have our menu select button. This is for our trip information system. So you can easily click through different information on your coach and you can customize your settings. We have our front day shade controls. So our left drivers, passenger and right. Here we have the internal control for our side view mirrors and the heat for our, or the frost for the mirrors. We have our nice backlit uh, cup holders this year. And then we have our headlights, panel lights, fog lights, accent lights, or in other words, we like to call these our show off lights. Here is our hydraulic leveling system. Again, this is what you wanna use when you're gonna be at a park for a long time. You'll wanna put these down. The steering wheel of the Anthem has the leather lined steering wheel and we have finger controls for our camera and radio. We also have cruise control here, so on, set, and we've got our courtesy lights, and I'm gonna explain those. So if you're driving down the road and you have a semi that has passed you, you want to let him know he wants to move back into the lane. You want to let him know that it's he's clear to move back into the lane. You're going to press this one time, flash that light at him. He knows he can come back in safely. Now, if you have passed a semi and he's letting you know that it's safe to move back into the lane, then you press this three times once you've moved back into the lane to tell him thank you. Now, Just started the engine and it's time to air up our coach and I want to speed it up just a little bit. So I'm going to hit my cruise control on and set to go to a fast idle so that it will air up the coach quicker. That's what this light is indicating. Over here, we have our windshield wiper controls. So we have low, and then two clicks takes us to high. We can turn those off, and we can use our intermittent uh, button here so that we can set the time of the windshield wiper. So I turn it on, count to one, two, three, Four, hit it again and count one, two, three, four. So you can set that to whatever interval you'd like. And then we have our windshield washer fluid here. I want to make sure you see this red light on the dash. So this is our indicator for the blind spot monitoring system. So when you have something to the right of your vehicle, that light will be on. It also shows in your side view mirror as well. 
Then we have the six, 3000 series six speed Allison transmission. So we have R for race, just kidding. R for reverse, neutral and drive. Then we have our front dash display. So we can go to menu and we have our radio, media center, XM, Bluetooth, HDMI, uh, nav system. Go to our maps. And then we have this great camera. In 2018, the Anthem has added a digital rear camera and digital side cameras. So you can look at all the different angles that it will show us. Hitch, horizon, to the uh, driver's, driver's side, passenger side, split screen. Now you can also throw this up on your TV. So this is another security system for your coach as well. So we'll put that up on the TV in a little bit, but at night you'll be able to see anyone that's outside your coach if you wanna turn on your TVs. Another cool thing is they put the uh, camera back down on the side of the coach so you can see the bottom of your storage bays on each side. You're not just looking into your slide out room. Then we have the controls for our heating and AC. We have our HDMI and USB outlets and 12 volt outlet. And again, two nice backlit cup holders and they've reinforced the tray. It's not wobbly, nice wooden tray for 2018. All right, the Vega Touch basic functions come up on this screen. Now we have our basic light and lock functions, but this is the biggie right here. So the driver can turn the generator on or off right here from the driver's seat and adjust the climate of the coach from the roof ACs right here. All right, here we have one of our control panels with our four resettable breakers. This is the wine guard over the air antenna. So we can simply turn that on and it's gonna search to find the best reception. And even inside this huge storage building of ours at National Indoor RV Centers, we're picking up seven broadcasting stations. These are our AC overrides. So if something were to happen with your Vega Touch, you are able to turn your air conditioning units on. There's no thermostat control here, but you will have AC. Then we have our slide out where we can extend and retract our kitchen slide, super slide, vanity slide, and bed slide. And we have an, a manual generator start button. So again, if something happens with the Vega Touch, you're able to start your generator from right here. All right, here we are at the power control center of the coach. Now we're gonna have a little electricity les a lesson. We always hear the term 50 amp service. That's really an RVer's term. If you were to ask an electrician how much power we have coming into this coach, he would say you have 50 amp service coming in, in a leg one and 50 coming in off leg two. And even I can do that math. 100 amps, he would say you have 100 amp service coming into the coach. So if you are plugged into shore power or if you're using your generator, you're gonna be able to operate everything in this box. So your basement, your dryer, stove, middle AC, your rear AC, front AC, water heater, washer, and fireplace. Now over in this box, we have everything that will run off. If you're not on shore power, not using your generator, then you're gonna be using your inverters to get that power. So off your, in, <laughs> off your inverters, you can run your bedroom, kitchen, living room, bathroom, refrigerator, microwave, cab and dash area. All right, the Anthem comes standard with two 3000 watt inverters. So let's talk a little bit about what inverters do. They have three functions. First of all, they convert AC to DC and DC to AC they charge your batteries and they pass current through. So if we are, we have our one inverter here, second inverter there. If we're plugged into shore power, we have a hundred amps coming into the coach. 
goes down into the basement through, to the inverters, passes through, charges the batteries as necessary so that if we are ever are, aren't plugged in or we're dry camping, we have fully charged batteries. Here we are in our huge facility in Atlanta where we store 300 coaches indoors. I'm out of the breaker box. This looks just like the one that you'll see at the park. So we have our one leg, two leg, our ground, and our neutral. So this is where we plug in for 50 amp service. Now, we also see that we have one leg for 50 amp, two leg for 50 amp. So those two are tied together. So we get 100 amp of power going into the coach. Now, over time, if I were to move this little panel here, you would just see two little brass connectors. Plugs going in and out, they, are, they get loose and then we don't get a good connection. So during this time of year when it's hot or sweaty, like I am right now, you go in, you plug your coach in, you go into your coach and you turn on your AC. And all of a sudden there's a huge draw, the AC flips off and you think you've got a problem in your coach. Really it's a problem out here at the plug at the park. So you just wanna be aware of that, that that could happen. Also, you want to be aware of the 30 amp plug. This looks just like your 220 at home. So unfortunately, I've had a few customers that have plugged into this at a 220 thinking it is, you know, it would do the job, but you're pulling in 220 power into the coach. It's too much power and it fried their whole coach. So just a few things to be aware of. All right, now I want to cover the four letter word, Vega. Here we are at the Vega touch screen. I know that um, over the last year, just like with any computers, they've made vast improvements, vast changes to the system. So you're really going to love this. First of all, it's like the nerve center of the coach. So we're at the home button here. On our home screen, it's gonna display the interior temperature, exterior temperature, time, and that time is connected with your navigation system. So as you pass through different time zones, it's gonna change automatically, just like our phones do. First thing we see is the message center. So if there's anything that it needed to tell us that if the tank was low or some problem, they would alert us right here. They're telling us there are no problems reported. Then it's gonna tell us our tank levels, our fresh tank, black tank, and gray tank. Now here's a little uh, button that you're all gonna like, screen sleep. So if you don't want anything displayed on this screen, just hit that it goes black. Now, we have master controls to a lot of the coach here. We have our master AV on and off button here. We have our entry door lock and unlock and our cargo door lock and unlock. Our interior lights on and off. And our day shades all up, all down. So this is going to happen for this whole, for the entire coach. Now the up shades will only lift the shades, uh, all the coaches except your bedroom shades and your master bathroom shades and your half bath shades because we don't want to, uh, you know, surprise anyone that's changing their clothes in those areas. We also have our interior and exterior lights. And then we have our AC power. So it lets us know that we're hooked up to shore power, that we have 120 volts coming in and 116 volts coming in and two amps and 26 amps. And then our DC power lets us know what the level is of our chassis and house batteries and that both inverters are on and they are on a float charge right now. Our generator on and off, our water pump, our electric hot water and our diesel hot water. Now. One of the things I love about the Vega Touch is that it's very user friendly. So if you have a question, if you're not sure what one button means, you just hit this question mark and then little question marks come over up and you can just hit that and have your power information all right here, what each button means and very self-explanatory. And then when you're done asking your questions, You just hit the question mark again and your question marks disappear. So let's move to the living room. 
here are all the functions of the living room. So we're on the AV button, so I can go to the radio, I can go to the Blu-ray player, and for DirecTV, it's already programmed in the system. For you dish users, all we have to do is a little swap out. We can do that here for you at National Indoor RV Centers, and it will work. You can program your dish in here as well. You control all the um, living room lights from here, and these little levers help you, you can dim the lights. So if you like to not have like full brightness when you walk in, I think lighting is everything when you're in your house. So you can set the dimness of your lights and then that remains the same when you turn your lights on and off. So I turn them off, turn them back on, they're still at that same level. Now if I want to reset everything, I just hit my on and hold and it will go back to full brightness. Now, one of the features that I think you'll really like is the theater mode. So, if you want to, you know, make a ro have a romantic evening with your loved one, you can just easily hit theater mode on. Shades go down, lights are dimmed, ready to go. This button controls all the shades in the living room area and in the cab. So, the cab, the living room area, the tow window, entry window, driver's side windshield, passenger side windshield, everything can be controlled right here, up and down, day and night shades. And then we have our front AV and our general AV for the living room. All right, moving on to the bedroom. We have the master bedroom lights and the master bedroom shades. You'll see that they just go down. They don't have the up arrow because you have to do those manually from the bedroom area. And again, we can adjust the lights and we have the bedroom AV well here as well. On to the stool room, the half bath and the master bathroom. Same thing, lights, shades, day and night. They go down, they don't go up. You have to do those from those rooms. And then we have done, we've done everything inside the coach. Now we're gonna do everything outside the coach. So we have our front awning, extend and retract, our rear awning, our door awnings, our AV, so that's exterior TV outside, the security lights, so we can turn those on so that they're motion activated or we can just leave them on all the time. We have our porch light, cargo light, our um, off driver's side awning and our under the slide light. Then we can do our slide rooms, we can extend and uh, retract them from here. So you have to push the button and hold and keep your finger on it the whole time while the slide is coming in or going out. Here's our settings button so we can, you know, change our wallpaper color, the brightness of the screen. We have it on full brightness. We can the how long the screen is displayed one minute five minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes and we can also display what is on when it goes to sleep what do you want displayed on the screen do you just want the time of day date temperatures you can always put it in cleaning mode and it will unlock and so you can wipe it down and you're not going to mess up whatever settings you have during this cleaning mode time Okay, I want you to pay close attention to this button here, the mobile apps. So if you press the Vega Touch button there at the bottom, you can download this app to your phone so that you can control everything that you control on this Vega Touch pad on your mobile device, as long as you're within certain distance of your coach. You can also tap to turn on and off the autogen, the inverters, the away, and stow. And you can do your aqua hot engine pre -re -re right here. Now this button is probably my favorite, is the climate control. It makes it so easy. So you have all your settings. You have your front, cool, heat, auto, and off. 
You can also adjust these just by scrolling your finger up and down and say you want to have them all set on the same setting. You just hit sync all and they're all going to be on the same setting. You also can do your floor heat right here. And we talk about when I'm down, when I'm outside doing the basement area, the basement area is, it's all carpeted, it's insulated, and it's thermostat controlled. So you can control that thermostat right here. And you can see the temperature of your basement right here. So if you're out in a cold area, you can make sure that you're not getting below freezing out there. You can also set different schedules as to when you want your AC to come on and go off. You can turn on your diesel heat here and your electric heat, heat here as well. And your fan speed. We have the fan speed on low. You can set it to high, auto, low. Again, this is a very user-friendly system. If you have any questions, hit the question mark and it will walk you right through it. You're gonna love the new and improved Vega Touch. All right, I brought the slide rooms in. Everyone wants to see how much space there is to walk when your slides are in. So you can see that you can easily get to your kitchen, um, prepare food, get into your drawers, your sink. You can also get back to your refrigerator and still have access to your pantry. And most importantly, we can still get into our bathroom. Now to my favorite part of the coach. This is where we get to entertain, have our friends, spend great time with our family. This is the 44A floor plan. So we have the sofa here, which makes into a bed. We also have the theater seating, which is new for 2018. So no bed underneath the theater seating, but you do have these wonderful power control foot rest and recline so you can get really comfortable you almost are vertical so it's really really comfortable <laughs> a little dangerous for me they've also added a great storage feature here so you've got a tray you can move back and forth you've got tons of space there so you've got guests coming over throw everything in here cup holders another uh, power recliner as well there and don't forget that both of our captain and our co-captain chairs they recline as well so really you've just got a nice area to entertain with and it's all very comfortable this interior is a majestic interior with the Tuscan cherry wood Notice the beautiful ceiling detail and the porcelain tile floor. Here we have a lovely window, but if we want to have a big screen TV, we simply hit the TV lift up. And there's our TV. All right, this is what the bed looks like. The sofa bed, fold and tumble. We just, it's an air mattress with a liner on the outside. So you just plug it into the wall, blow it up, and you're ready for guests. Before I forget, over here by the co-captain's chair is the panel for your entry shades, your master day and night shades, porch, ceiling, and your front master. Moving into our kitchen area, we have the extendable island which just gives you more surface to prepare your food which is nice again we have the nice full extension drawers and beautiful stainless steel sink another thing i love about integra is they give us a place to store those sink covers when we're not using them this is also you'll hear it once you'll hear it again and again and again my favorite cabinet i love that they're just Spot for the garbage and then a nice deep storage space here as well notice the residential faucets and then beautiful cabinetry throughout the coach love these pull-out trays 
You can put a little liner in there so that nothing rattles, but it also makes it so you don't have to dig to the back of your cabinets to get those canned goods. We have the Furion induction cooktop with a nice big drawer for all of our cooking utensils here. Look how deep that is and wide. And the Anthem comes with the dishwasher standard. We have the Whirlpool microwave convection oven. Another little favorite of mine is the silverware drawer. And they've added the spice cabinet. So they're just using every space available um, that makes your, your home very livable, very usable. Now in the 44A floor plan, we have the dinette on the patio side of the coach. So this way, when you're having dinner, or sharing dinner with your guests, you're looking over your campsite with your awning cover, covering, um, you providing a little extra shade there as well. You also have this beautiful table, which extends and two extra folding chairs that go here. You have a great amount of storage space here. So you have a lot of work area also if you need to bring your computer, have a little mini office. Another feature that I just love, I wanted in my home, is a dustpan. So you just pick that little button, sweep everything over to that, and then it just makes it all disappear. Isn't that the best? Then we have the Whirlpool residential refrigerator with water and ice in the front door. Nice and big, just like your refrigerator at home. And freezer. We have our two pantry cabinets. They're nice and deep and adjustable. You can adjust the shelves. And we have our fantastic fan. I like that this is hinged. You can take that down. Nice way to ventilate the coach, plus it has the rain sensor on it. Here we have the half bathroom. This is a huge half bathroom compared to most RVs. So we have the nice solid surface countertop, the push button flush toilet, and lots of storage in the medicine cabinet here. We have our second control panel with resettable breakers there. Now notice we've got another fantastic or er, fantastic fan here for ventilation. And on our way to the master bedroom here, we have the central vac. So you can easily vacuum your entire coach. Now, before we go into the bedroom, I want you to see the beautiful privacy doors that the Integra has. I love how pretty they are. Plus, they have a secure lock so that when you put the coach into drive, it locks into place and this is, contributes to the quietest riding best Henley coach on the market today, period. Moving into the master bedroom, we have this beautiful king size bed with a nice plush mattress. We have USB outlets here on this nightstand and one tin on this nightstand. Note the ceiling fan, huge feature, feature for a lot of RVers. And we have our 32 inch Samsung TV. And behind it, we have our safe and Blu-ray player. They give us nice cabinets, lots of storage above. They're nice and deep. And we have storage below the bed as well. I also wanted to point out the controls for your lights, your shades, and your entry door locks, and your master lights on and off here, right underneath the bed and the, the button for your fan. All right, moving into the master bathroom, we have this beautiful solid surface countertop. 
the residential faucets again. And of course, Integra gives us nice deep drawers, big cabinets that go all the way back. So we have lots of storage. One of the huge, huge features they added for 2018 are the medicine cabinets. So not only is this beautiful, but it's super useful. Look at all that space that we just didn't have before. And now we have just an enormous amount of storage area here. Now I want you to notice the light switch here. So anytime you see that up and down arrow, we can dim the lights. So you just hold it and the lights will dim. Same with your accent, your bedroom lights. Um, we have the bedroom shade down, bedroom shade night down, and up as well. Okay, let me get those lights back on nice and bright for us. As we head to, we have our washer and dryer here. So we have our Whirlpool dryer and Whirlpool washer. And then notice as I go into the closet, I'll open the door and the light's going to come on. This is great so you don't have to remember to turn off the closet light. Lights on, nice deep closet, cedar line, place for your shoes in the back here. Then we have more storage above the potty. We've got lots of space for toilet paper or whatever else you'd like to put there. Push button toilet. And note our third fantastic fan, great for ventilation, especially in the bathroom. And then we have our huge shower. So nice big shower, spot where you can shave your legs for the ladies and a place for your shampoos and conditioners. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the 2018 Integra Anthem, the 44A floor plan. If you like this floor plan, or you've liked this coach and you wanna see more of it, or of more of our other inventory that we have on our lot, please visit our website at nirvc.com or give us a call. Also, if you like these videos or if there's something you'd like me to add next time, you have some suggestions, feel free to comment or email us. And if you wanna see more of these videos, hit the like button and hit subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed, enjoy it. <laughs> so with independent front suspen, suspension, sus, gosh, it's a lot of time to say that word. Okay. In the Anthem, we have the Cummins ISL turbocharged 450 horsepower engine with 1,250 foot pounds of torque. What do I say after that? The Anthem comes with the Cummins ISL 400, okay. Ready? The Anthem comes with the, here we go. The Anthem comes with the uh, Cummins, okay. All right. The Anthem comes with the ISL, with the. Here's the water filter for the rest of the house. And we have our nice pressurized water hose. <laughs> I hit the button, there's water in it. Oh, stop.